as the plane carrying Tolam, the General Secretary of the Communist Party of Vietnam, and by extension, the country's president, landed in Beijing. The messaging wasn't lost on either side. The visit comes weeks after Lam took over Vietnam's top political position. And by making China his first overseas destination, he is signaling the importance his country attaches to ties with Beijing. Waiting at the airport to receive the dignitary was Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi, also a member of the Politburo of the Chinese Communist Party. The three-day visit came at the invitation of Chinese President Xi Jinping. All trappings were in place. At the Great Hall of the People, where Xi Jinping welcomes foreign leaders. The two communist countries enjoy good economic and trade ties, despite occasional friction over competing claims in the South China Sea. But Vietnam has shown it can play its cards well. Last year, it elevated its relations with the US and Japan, both China's rivals, to a comprehensive strategic partnership, the country's highest diplomatic relationship. It has the same ties with China and India. China is Vietnam's largest trading partner, yet Vietnam recently took part in joint drills in the Philippines, which has had a series of violent encounters with China in the South China Sea. But Vietnam has signaled that it means business with China. The two leaders held delegation-level talks, and Xi Jinping had good things to say about Vietnam. The Vietnamese leader returned the favor. Tôi và ban lãnh đạo cấp cao Đảng Nhà nước Việt Nam rất mong muốn cùng đồng chí Tổng Bí thư Chủ tịch nước Trung Quốc Tập Cận Bình và ban lãnh đạo cấp cao Đảng Nhà nước Trung Quốc không ngừng vun đắp truyền thống hữu nghị tiếp tục làm sâu sắc và nâng tầm quan hệ đối tác hợp tác chiến lược toàn diện xây dựng cộng đồng chia sẻ tương lai Việt Nam Trung Quốc. Later, both countries signed 14 documents from upgrading cross-border railways to crocodile exports. Both sides seem keen on planning and feasibility studies for standardized railway routes as a new step towards the upgrade of cross-border rail links. The two nations are connected by two railways from southern China to Vietnam's northern industrial hub and capital Hanoi. But the infrastructure on the Vietnamese side is old and incompatible with China's high-speed rail network, which means Passengers and goods are now forced to swap trains at the border.